This year I am going to be trying loofahs for the first time. I got the seeds from a seed swap that I joined um, last fall here a few months ago. So somebody, actually a couple people sent me a bunch of seeds. So I had been doing some research online about the best way to try to germinate these plants. I know that once they are outside, they take a lot of space. Uh, they are like a really huge vine. So I am only going to try to go for one plant but I'm going to try to keep two alive so that if I don't kill any, then I'll just give one extra to either uh, my mom or one of my sisters. So uh, what I did here is that I had been soaking some seeds for the last couple of days. And the first thing that I did, because I saw a few people online doing this, is that I got these seed if you have never seen or touched a loofah seed before, they're really, really uh, hard. The, the coating on the seed is really, really hard. So what I did is I got some nail clippers and I make a tiny, tiny, very gently cut on the seed to make sure that the water could uh, access the inside of the seed. And I did mess up a couple of them when I was trying to do it, like the whole thing broke in half. So just very, very carefully uh, try to make a tiny, tiny little cut on the seed so that you can soak them in water. And what I did is that I just covered them in paper. I am not trying to germinate them here in water. That's not what I'm trying to do. But I am just trying to get these seeds to get tons of water, get tons of moisture. I don't know if you can see some of them here. They have a little cut here on the side. So I have six seeds here. Like I said, I am just going to try to germinate two of them. And I'm going to start with regular potting mix in uh, a somewhat bigger container than normal, bigger than I use. And let me show you that. Okay, so I have these two containers. They are slightly bigger. These are the two inch two and a half inch containers from Bootstrap Farms. You can see the size here for reference. This is a 72 cell tray, and these are the two and a half inch containers. That way you have an idea how big they are. So I am going to start them, like I said, straight in potting mix. I already have it somewhat wet here so that I don't have to be dealing with, um, with dust and dry dust all over. And what I'm going to do basically I am going to try to get two plants. So if all of these three seeds germinate, that'll be awesome. But I will have to thin them out. So they're probably going to go as, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch, if that much. And I heard that loofahs do take a while to germinate. So I'm just going to keep, you know, keeping the water available for them, keeping them somewhere warm. They're actually going to go right under my LED lights so that I, I don't have to worry about missing the plants coming through, germinating. Okay, and I have my labels already on them. And somebody asked me the other day why I make uh, two names, like the same name on different side of the container sometimes. And this is just for, this is just a personal choice, you guys. Whenever, if I put something, if I put these containers, uh, if I only make one label on these containers and they're all facing this way, depending on where they are on my, on my shelves back there, uh, if I have them facing the wrong way, then I'm gonna have to go reach and turn them to see what they are. Because I would like to think that I'll remember that these are the containers for the loofahs, but at some point I'm gonna have a lot of containers going and I'm not gonna remember. So if I have them facing um, one way or the other, then I can easily read what they are. Again, nothing fancy. So that's it for today.
excited about it. On the other side of these dahlia and geranium containers, on the other side of the arbor, I have my loofahs, you guys. And I gotta say that I was a little worried about my loofahs. I started two containers with loofahs in them, and when I transplanted this one outside, it did not like the transplant. For a minute there, I thought that it was going to die and I was gonna have to plant something else. But this little guy is like taking off after being a little bit sad for a while like some of the branches kind of died um, it could have been that it was too hot the week that I took them outside but it is shooting a bunch of new growth and I am loving this so much what I'm going to be doing is that I am going to be <laughs> is that I'm going to be helping the branches the new branches find their way up into the arbor. I might even use some of that uh, stretchy tape, but some of the other uh, vines, they're already helping themselves. Like you can see where it's attaching themselves to the arbor and I am, I am just loving this. I, I cannot wait to see how these loofahs do for me here this year. So excited about that. We have come a long way since February 18th. My lufa is doing amazing. It's struggling a little bit. The heat has been intense, I am not going to lie. But overall, I think that this plant is just loving the heat. It's loving all the water that I have been giving it. And being in that container by itself, I have been fertilizing at least a couple of times by now. And I think that it's just loving it so far. The arbor is almost completely taken over by this plant and she is loving it here. I do have a few loofahs already growing. I think that the longest one that I have it's about 10, 11 inches or so. And I am hoping that I can at least keep those four um, to mature, to finish growing. And, and from what I read, this plant needs a lot of time to mature. The fruit needs to mature for quite a long time on the plant. So I am hoping that I can get those four to grow. I have a lot of flowers as well on the plant. So I am hopeful. I am um, really, really happy that being my first time growing this plant, growing this lufa has been a success. I call it a success. And I am I'm actually quite happy how it's growing here in this arbor. Um, I had to help the vines a little bit at the beginning because they didn't quite know how to attach to the arbor. I think it was uh, a little bit too thick. The openings were a little bit too thick. But once it got going, it was fine. Uh, like I said, I only did add a little bit of fertilizer, uh, slow release fertilizer twice. And other than watering and doing that, it's, it's been really no pain growing this plant. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have been thinking about growing lufa in your space, I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I am definitely not an expert growing loofahs at home, but if I can help you with something, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and until the next time.